Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video I'll show you how you can create this awesome Ken Burns effect in PowerPoint. Ken Burns effect makes your photos come to life and makes your slide background much more interesting. Let's go! Before we start this video, I want to say huge thanks to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. Surfshark is the secure VPN that takes you from A to online privacy in one smooth and quick wave. They are digital security nerds, so that we don't have to be. Some of their amazing features include 800 plus quality servers around the world, zero buffering speeds, safe and clean cyber ocean with no ads, trackers or malware, kill switch for waterproofing your connection, and no logs, no tracking, no worries. You can get Surfshark VPN with the link in the video description, and if you use coupon code ONESKILL, you'll get 84% off and one month for free. So thank you Surfshark VPN and let's continue with the video. So what is the Ken Burns effect you might ask and that's a great question. Ken Burns effect is an effect that replicates the movement of a camera by panning and zooming a still photo. And this effect was named after Ken Burns who is the first filmmaker using this visual style for documentaries. And since Ken Burns effect is achieved by panning and zooming a photo at the same time, let's review how panning and zooming looks like. So let's start with the panning. So as you can see here, the photo is moving horizontally from right to left, and as you'll see later on, we can as well create vertical and diagonal panning. And in PowerPoint, we can create panning animation by applying the line motion path to a photo. Don't worry, I'll show you everything step by step in a moment. Alright, and now the zooming part. As you can see, the photo is zooming in, and in PowerPoint, we can achieve this effect by applying a grow shrink animation. And when we apply both the panning and zooming animations to a photo, and when we play those animations at the same time, we get a Ken Burns effect, ladies and gentlemen. So now that we have a good theoretical understanding of how this effect works, let me show you how to create it in PowerPoint step by step. Let's go! Alright, so let's start with the horizontal Ken Burns effect and for that let's open up a fresh blank new presentation and let's just find a beautiful photo from unsplash.com, link is in the video description if you'd like to use the exact photo. Let's copy it and let's drop it into PowerPoint. As you can see the photo does not cover the whole slide, don't worry because uh, let's just zoom out a little bit and let's increase the size of this photo. Uh, the photo has to be actually uh, much bigger than the slide itself because we need some space for the animation to happen. And we can actually go into the transparency options of the photo and make this photo a little bit transparent so that we can actually see the borders of the slide and this will help us out when we will be animating this slide. And we can position the photo into any position that we want, for example like this, that's beautiful. And at the same time we can go to view options and activate the slide guides, it will help us uh, see better where is the center of the slide. And with the help of the motion path we will move our photo from right to left. And let's make our photo slightly bigger, just like this, drag the corner, that's beautiful. And with the help of the motion path we will make sure that this photo pans from right to left just like this and stops at the center where is the center of the car. Right, so let's select a photo, go to animations, choose path animation and let's choose line. As you can see now the line animation goes from bottom to up. So let's select left, we want it to go from right to left. And let's just zoom in a little bit, as you can see we have this red arrow. So let's select it and we can drag it and adjust the ending point of the animation. So let's uh, make it so that uh, the animation ends somewhere at the center where is the car. That's beautiful. So we can preview it. So it looks like this. Awesome. So uh, let's uh, set the duration to 5 seconds. And let's uncheck smooth end, smooth uh, start. We don't need those uh, options. Let's uh, deactivate slide guides, uh, we don't need them anymore. 
And we can actually set back the transparency to normal so that photo looks the way it should look. And we can uh, hit preview and see how this panning animation looks like. That's beautiful. As you can see, the photo is coming from right to left. Once again. And as well, we can check it out on the full screen. So this is the panning animation and next we need to take care of the zooming part. Alright, so let's select our photo, let's zoom out a little bit and let's actually make this photo transparent again, a little bit transparent. It will help us out when we will be adding those animations. So let's uh, set the transparency to something about 70%. Let's open up Animation Pane and now we will have to add an additional animation which is Grow Shrink Animation. So let's go to Animations and choose uh, Grow Shrink. And oops, I think I have just replaced my Motion Path Animation. So make sure you do not replace your Motion Path Animation but you add additional animation, Grow Shrink Animation. So let's do it once again. And now it's good. And let's make sure to start with previous, which means it will start automatically with the motion path animation and duration 5 seconds. No smooth start, uh, no smooth end. And for the percentage, growth percentage, let's insert 130%. You can uh, choose any other percentage that you want to grow your photo. And I think it looks beautiful. And now we have basically created the can burn effect. We can... Uh, set back the transparency and we can check it out on the full screen. So as you can see the photo is panning to the left side and at the same time it is zooming and this way we have achieved the Ken Burns effect. That's awesome. We can uh, copy these text boxes and this uh, PowerPoint logo. Just paste it right here to make our slide a little bit more interesting. Hit Control C or Command C and let's just paste it into here. So these text boxes uh, already have some animation. Let me just uh, check it out on the animation pane. Yes, they have this fade animation. Okay, so let's check it out on the full screen how this horizontal Ken Burns effect looks like. That's beautiful. And by the way, if you like this curly font that I'm using, it's called Foundry Font. It's free and I'll put a download link in the video description as well so you can check it out and use it as well in your projects. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, now let me show you one more interesting Ken Burns effect. Let's insert a fresh new slide. And I've done it already before, so let me show how it looks like. So as you can see, we need to have a large uh, portrait photo because we will be moving this uh, photo vertically. This is how it looks like. The photo is moving upwards and it's zooming at the same time. So we can actually call this effect the vertical Ken Burns effect. So once again, let's go to Unsplash and let's copy this beautiful photo. Link is in the video description. Let's paste it into PowerPoint. And now let's make sure that the width of this uh, photo is the same as the width of our slide. That's awesome. And for the height, it's very good that it does not fit into the slide because we'll be moving it uh, vertically. And once again, let's add some transparency to our photo so that we can see where are the edges of the slide. So let's uh, position our photo into starting position to st something like this. That's beautiful. And we can actually copy the animations from the first slide and we can just paste the animations to this slide with the Animation Painter. And all that's left to do now is uh, to change the direction of the motion path. And since we want our photo to go up, let's choose up from the effect options. That's all. And let's make sure we uncheck Smooth End and Smooth Start. We don't need those options. And for the duration, let's set it to 5 seconds. And that's uh, pretty much done. We can adjust the ending position of our animation. And if you'd like to make sure that your car happens to be in the center when the animation ends, you can activate the slide guides so that you can see where's the center of the slide. And now you can grab the red bubble and make sure that the ending position is in the center. Just like that. That's beautiful.
All right, and now we can give it a preview. As you can see, the photo is going up and zooming in at the same time. That's beautiful. So let's set back the transparency to normal and check it out one more time. That's beautiful. That's vertical Ken Burns effect, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, and let's just copy those text boxes from my previous uh, slide and let's just paste them here just for fun. And this is how it looks like. And we can bring those text boxes uh, slightly upwards so that uh, they don't cover our beautiful car in the center. Okay, so now let me show you the last Ken Burns effect. And this is uh, something that I call diagonal Ken Burns effect because the movement is diagonal and as always, we have some zooming in going on. So uh, let's go to unsplash.com and let's copy this beautiful photo. Link is in the video description. Let's paste it. And uh, let's make sure that we increase uh, the size of this photo, something like this. Let's align it to the left side and let's add some transparency. Let's just type in 70%, just like that. And as we did before, we can just select uh, previous slides. We can copy the animations and paste those animations to this slide. And once again, we just have to make sure we adjust the motion path. And this time we want it to go diagonally. So you can choose diagonal from the effect options, or we can just select that uh, red bubble and let's just drag it slightly to the left side like this. And now we have this angle uh, line or this diagonal line. And that's uh, pretty much it. So let's set back the transparency to zero. Uh, let's zoom in, check it out one more time. So the photo is moving diagonally and zooming at the same time. That's beautiful. So let me just copy these uh, text boxes. Paste them here. So as you can see, this kind of effect is really useful when you would like to show some kind of inspirational quotes to your audience. For example, collect memories, not uh, things. So ladies and gentlemen, now you know how you can create awesome Ken Burns effect in PowerPoint. You can create horizontal, you can create vertical or diagonal Ken Burns effect to make your slide backgrounds much more interesting. So thank you for watching, I hope you have learned something new and interesting and I'll see you in my next video.